Okay, today we're going to discuss foraging for dandelion root. Rebel Canners teaching all kinds of food preservation, especially the old ways. I'm really enjoying this series on foraging and teaching you things that I actually use. And I hope that you enjoy my canning, my homesteading, and my gardening videos as well. Thank you, Rebel Canner. Welcome back, Rebel Canners. I really hope you enjoy this series on foraging. Foraging is something that I started doing with my family when I was very, very young. My parents lived through the Depression, and so they had a lot of knowledge in this type of thing. And then in sixth grade, my biology teacher offered us a project, and you could pick anything you could do. Well, I already had a great base of knowledge that I, I thought of foraging, and he said, if you created this notebook and you wrote it all down and, you know, got creative with this notebook on foraging, you could get an A in the class. It was one of the A projects. You could pick an A project, a B project, or a C project. So I'm like, ah, oh, this is an easy, easy A. And so I wish I still had that book. Boy, do I wish I still had that book, even though it was sixth grade and scribbly and cut out magazine pictures of the plants. But... I actually went out and foraged violets and made sugared violets for the class and because it was the only thing that early that was out yet and I just absolutely loved it and I've kept my love of foraging ever since. So let me share with you in this series my knowledge. As with anything, be sure to do your own research. Thank you Rebel Canners and have a great day. Dandelion was actually brought to the United States because of its medicinal properties. It is not a native plant. You can gather your dandelion root any time of the year, but in the fall when the plant is putting its energy into the roots is the best time. Wash your dandelion roots. After cleaning them up thoroughly, go ahead and chop them into pieces. Roast your pieces of dandelion root in the oven at 350 degrees for 10 to 20 minutes, stirring halfway through. And if you're going to grind it for coffee, it can be easier to go ahead and do it in smaller pieces right from the start. Dandelion root tea or coffee substitute was popular during World War I. You can also do a tincture using dandelion root. This is quite popular as well. So that's another option. There you have it, Rebel Canters. Just a little bit about dandelion root and its uses. Check out this playlist I've made for you all about things you can forage throughout the year. As always, be sure to like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell. You never want to miss another episode.